champions of the American League. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. Summer sun is nearly set, and now it's time for baseball at Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight, the second of four to begin the week between the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. The two men you see there go head-to-head. -head. Coming up next. Robbie Erlin is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on MH? Well, Matt, when you look back at his last outing and go through the box score, you see five walks. That, to me, is what he's got to cut down if he has a chance to win this game. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Full count, here it comes. Line drive to center field, and they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So the leadoff hitter reaches with good speed. The two-hole hitter can handle the bat. We'll see if they have a play on here with nobody out. As dribble, Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Nobody out, runner on first. Fouled back. And he'll snap one over to first, and he's back easily. Ready with another 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And now a chance to meet the mess. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Asdrubal Cabrera. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Settling in now, Michael Conforto. And in case you haven't been keeping up the tabs on him, arguably he's been one of the hottest hitters in the league over the last seven or so games. Ready with two balls and a strike. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. A lot of times, if a guy is going, it's going to be on the first couple of pitches, but he waited it out that time. Didn't matter, though. A good catch and throw, and they nabbed him at second. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Noah Syndergaard is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, this is going to be an interesting game. He pitches really good at home, and he struggles on the road. And in this road game, this road atmosphere, I don't know if that's getting to him or what it is, but he just has not got good numbers on the road so maybe look for the other team to take it to him today digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski he'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway in for strike two a 
Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Another one two delivery. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Time now to check the hometown Padres lineup card in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, this is the new model of teams that we see. Strikeout doesn't matter. They're in the top third in the league in strikeouts, so we're going to see a lot of swings and misses today. But if they catch one, look out. Now with the plate, Corey Spangenberg. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. A three for five line to show for those meetings. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer. 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after. Line towards center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Around first, he's digging for second. Around second, he's on his way to third. Throw won't get him. And that triple could not have come at a better time. The team has really struggled the last few games trying to get over the hump, and they're looking for anything good to happen to them. And I'd say that triple definitely qualifies. They are fired up. Here's Will Myers hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this is fouled at the plate. A man at third with one away. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Standing in, Yon Herbus Solarte. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Ready to deliver the one and two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Again, he sends it out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Again, a 1-2. Hit in the air to center field. Branderson is under it. And that retires the side. We'll move on to the second now at Petco Park with no score. Now batting, Neil Walker. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Left side. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the pods line up defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. And a shortstop, Eric Ibar. He's won a gold glove before, but you're not going to see the guy that's going from one end of the field to the other making ground balls. He now relies a lot on positioning, and he catches it when it's hit to him. Here's Jay Bruce now, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting set. Center fielder number three. It is Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs.
And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Well, Ferg really does call a solid game back there. He does reward a pitcher for good location at times, but his reviews tend to be very good most of the time. Tapped out in front of home. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Man, was he flying down the line right there. Now, I know there's two outs, and he's not quitting. Maybe this is a rally starter with a two-out infield single. Here's Lucas Duda now. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. One and one, here it is. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down to the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away, and it froze it. Pitch is low and in the dirt, and that's going to allow that runner to steal his way into scoring position here with two away. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. Set to deal on two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Margo's under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now at the plate, Hunter Renfro hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Here's the one and one pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice comfortable lead, but comfortable can be it can be trouble. You gotta stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. The 2 2 one more time. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Here's Eric Ibar now, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. You got that right, Matt. There is a lot of moving parts on that barehanded play, and it is a thing of beauty when everything comes together just like it did. You can bet he'll be watching this one again after the game. Digging in, Manuel Margot, and he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Bases are empty here with two men out. Aye. Takes a fastball on the inside Three corner. Balls, Slider Keep whiffed up. on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's the catcher Travis Darno took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Nope. And he misses 2 and 1. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher you're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. A fastball right over the outside corner. 
Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Just got a piece up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Margo's on the move. One away. Batting ninth, catcher Noah Sindergaard. Digging in, Noah Sindergaard. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Third inning, no score to this point. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Standing in, Austin Hedges. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. Digging in, Robbie Irwin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. In there, one and two now. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. One and two, here it comes. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Ready for another chance? Travis Jankowski. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Padres down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Drubal Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. Fastball called strike. 1 and 2. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Hedges corrals it. The throw to first is in time, one down. The left fielder, number 30. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. A swinging bunt to the mound. 
on to first, and there were two down. Now batting. Second base. Here's Neil Walker. Neil 0 for 1 for Walker. him here in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Well, he falls behind 3 1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, 3 and 2. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Down in order go the Mets. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Corey Spangenberg. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. This is line to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. And he obviously didn't let last First night's hit this out and get four. to his head too much because that's Will. his second hit of the ball Fire. game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Riding in once again, Will Myers, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Drilled down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag, a fair ball. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. In now, Young Herbert Solarte. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lifted the other way out to left center. Granderson's after it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. The relay, and he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Right fielder. Into the box now, Hunter Renfro. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the 1-1. Slider up that he gets a call on. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side Padres pick up a run on the RBI double we're through four it's one nothing San Diego here's Jay Bruce now he's 0 for 1 thus far From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. 
A solo shot there for Jay Bruce. Home run number 15 for him thus far as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. Yeah and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare depending on your viewpoint a power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate a plus B equals see you later it's simple math folks stepping in now Curtis Granderson and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. We know he's probably still thinking about that game tying home run he just first gave up but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's Look bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Standing in now, Lucas Duda. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see a seven-mile-an-hour differential there from one to the other. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. But the Mets are able to square things up on this solo home run. Middle of the night downtown. All even now at 1-1. Coming to the plate now, Manuel Margot comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in to left to base hit. Digging in for his second at bat, Austin Hedges. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. And there he goes towards second. Pitch is a cold strike to throw. Tag made by Walker, and he's out at second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. You know, this is the kind of location you can get away with when you throw your fastball like that. That's certainly not where he wanted it to end up. But when it's coming in that hot, it's tough for guys to put it in play, especially when they're protecting with two strikes. Into the box now, Robbie Erlin. Hit hard to the right. Foul. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Padres go down quietly. We've played five full, tied at one aside. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Noah Syndergaard. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looks like double-barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And he comes back with a fastball, 1 and 2 now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Well, he's pitching well. They send him back up to the plate, and what does he do? He rewards him with the There's base hit. So this seven. is a great game for him All so far. Right. In now, Jose Reyes looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Here we go. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Margo on his horse. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ready for another chance as Dribble Cabrera 
Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Two -two. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. This is line to left. Jankowski makes the catch, and now they might be able to double them off at first. Now a throw to first, doubles up the runner. Tough luck that time as he got stuck in no man's land following the line drive on the hit and run. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth, all tied at one and one. Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. That's pretty good break right there. Breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for the Padres. Second baseman. Digging in to try it again. Corey Spangenberg. Bats here with a double and a triple on his line in this one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Strike two called and it's even at two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Line towards center field. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Well, that's another hit for him. And he inches that much closer to the side. He's Number got the four. tough one out of the way in the triple. Will. Waiting on a home Fire. run. Any more at bats in this game? Swing for a home. Into the box, Will Myers. He grounds it sharply to third. Here's Walker for one. Back to Duda, a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Back here at Petco Park. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Keith Hessler is on to pitch from now the bullpen the now to start race. inning number seven. Number 54, Keith Hessler. Striding in once again, Michael Conforto. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Margo is right there, one down. Now batting. Second Here's Neil Bateman. Walker. He's Neil 0 for 2 Walker. thus far in this one. Line drive to center field. Margo is there, two gone. I know they say sometimes right that these things 19. even out, but that Jane was a bullet Brown. line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left-hander has stood up to throw. Stepping in now, 
Jay Bruce. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And a full count now, three and two. One run, four hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Payoff pitch one more time. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Center fielder number three. Here's the center Curtis fielder Curtis Granderson. Granderson. One for two on his line so far in the game. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Her ball bounces and this one gets away. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Well the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Spin and a throw back to second. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And a fair ball as this will head out toward the 322 sign in right. And the runner will score from second as they take a 2-1 to one lead. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game, they give you the lead in the ball game. You feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. Into the box now. Lucas Duda. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. It is stretch time here at Petco Park. It's the Mets two and the Padres one. Ready for another shot now. Yon Herba Solarte. Do up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 1 and 2 pitch. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. Here's another one, two. And a fastball just a bit up. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one, two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Under this one just a bit as this is a fly ball for the center fielder, Granderson. And that's out number two. 
batter number eight shortstop. Here's Eric Ibar Eric now. Ibar. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Little flare out to left. And that'll get down for a two out single. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Well, we see a lot of line drives from this guy, but because he keeps that bat in the plane so long, he picks up cheap hits like this soft line. He's just a good hitter. Digging in and looking for more, Manuel Margot, a hit in two tries so far. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. He's set. Here's the 2 2. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Two out lightning. Here they come. This team never stops. Now they got the tie and run at second and the go ahead run at first base. And all this with two outs. Can they come up with another big hit with two? Let's see right here. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. In now Austin Hedges. Foul back. Wow the Padres have been scuffling so far they need to get a big hit and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. Swing and a looper to left and Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. Padres leave a pair. They still trail it here two to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Kevin Quackenbush will come on the pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Number Christian Bethancourt. Will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Christian Bettencourt. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Yeah, that strategy is great when now it works, but when it doesn't, Petrick. it's ugly. And Noah he was here to face guard. one guy, and he couldn't get it done. David Your Wright will come on to pinch hit now with the runner at first and nobody out. David Wright. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Hard on the ground towards short. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Boy, that was a heck of an at bat. Worked the count full. Pitcher Third thought for sure he'd be seven. looking fastball. Okay. He got a breaking right. ball, stayed with it, and got the base hit. That's about as good as it's going to get right there. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. A throw behind the runner at second, but the runner's back easily. Set to deal on two and two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. Now a spin and a throw back to second and a dive, but he's back. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Darno rounds the corner and is headed home. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a three to one ball game. Well that base hit right there gives them two the run cushion. When you have a two run two cushion late in the game out. you got to feel pretty good about yourself.
into the box as Drupal Cabrera tapped up the first baseline. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. The left fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hits are even at seven apiece. Cut that runner down. Outside, two and one. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Whoa, he hit that second one a little bit too hard. Line drive Neil single, but Walker. the runner at second had to hold up, so he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. Your Ryan Butcher play. gets the call now as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the Number eight. 40, Ryan Butcher. Standing in now, Neil Walker. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone, two and two. He's in a tough jam right here, but you see what he's doing? He's going back with his best stuff, reaching back, trusting his fastball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full, three and two. Due next is the dangerous Jay Bruce. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch, and even if we had robot outs, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Come on, Here comes the payoff pitch. He spoils another one and will do it again. Boy, and he just won't go away as he fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gets up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Digging in once again, Curtis Granderson. He's two for three thus far. The 0-2 pitch. Weak chopper up the line. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Well, Matt, that ball wasn't hit very hard. Two First strikes, base, just trying to bat. Put the ball in play, Lopez. and he gets Do a down. bonus when you drive in the run as well. So I love that at bat. Here's Lucas Duda now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. This is skied into short left center. Heading after it is Margo. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets five and the Padres one. Jerry Blevins is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jerry Blevins. Now at the plate, Christian Bethencourt. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. 
Cold strike two on the cutter and he's behind in the cap now one and two. On the ground to third. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Now batting. Left fielder. Digging in Travis. at the plate is Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Here's the pitch on two and two. Smoke toward third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Into the box now, Corey Spangenberg. And here's a ball hit in the air. Duda onto the grass. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Will Myers. And with men on base and First two away, it feels four. like this at bat could Will go a long way toward deciding Myers. this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Grounded back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Well, another single. Now they're first and second. They've been swinging the bat great all day, but they haven't come up with the big hit to break an inning over. Maybe that's coming. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. In now, Yon Herba Solarte. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. And to score, the runner from second. Well, I love the perseverance. Comes down to late in the game. He ends up getting the base hit to drive in the run. No, he ended up he hits the whole game. So that was a big at bat for him to battle. So digging in now, Hunter Renfro in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Friars forced to settle for just the one. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets five and the Friars two. Bright lights of downtown on the San Diego Bay. We're back now from Petco Park You're in the gas lead. lamp district as we're now set to start the, the night. Brad Number Hand enters from the pen to start Brad. the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in, Travis Darno. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Here's the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, that's back to back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Pulls this one in the air out to left. Jankowski's there for it. One out. Now batting. Catcher. Jerry Levin. One more Flores. We'll move into the on deck circle now to try to get Number something four. started here with one Wilmer gone in the inning. Flores. 
And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the one and two delivery. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Third baseman number seven. Into the box now, Jose, Jose Reyes. Reyes. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning continues. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. He comes in 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Mets go down quickly and it remains 5 to 2. Jerry Spamilia comes out of the bullpen to shut York, things down here in the ninth. Jerry Spamilia. Here's Eric Ibar now. Lifetime against Familia. He's two for four. Ibar waits on the one-one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Here's the two-one. Squared that one up just a little late. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reyes ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Coming to the plate now, Manuel Margot is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Here's the one and one pitch. Slider stayed too low, ball two. He's set, and the two one pitch. Hit down the line at first. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And by the time he recovers, they'll have no play on him at first. It's an infield single. Carlos Asuaje will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoer out. Now to the plate, Christian Bethencourt. Lifetime against Familia. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Two out here and a runner at second. Here's the ball swung on and lost it in the air out toward right center. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, it's never easy to win games on the road, so they are very happy with this win. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Metropolitans with a division-leading 60th team win this year. Noah Syndergaard. Wins for the league best 15th time, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save, his 29th of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs. Ten hits, no errors. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7-10!
right field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first.